If there's one thing I can say about PC, when it comes to being on cold, they got that on lock until the cold comes back and bites them in the ass. So if you don't know who this woman is, this is Roberta Kaplan. And she was a leader for Time's Up, which is basically a branch or a notch on the Me Too belt. And she basically has resigned after she's been criticized for aiding with Governor Andrew Cuomo of New York in a previous scandal that he was involved with last year. It pretty much got exposed. You know, every, the lid is pretty much being blown off and everything's coming to light. And she basically resigned because she was accused of aiding with this. And this actually goes against her because, you know, Time's Up is supposed to be against the rape or the sexual assault of women. Now, to pause on her right quick, this kind of reminds me of what, what happened with Lisa Bloom. If you don't remember, Lisa Bloom at one point was supposed to represent Harvey Weinstein in the allegations against him, you know, back when Me Too really first ramped up. But it got kind of out there and Lisa Bloom quickly went away from it. And then, of course, it got buried under the lamestream media rug. This is kind of the same thing. And I'm going to go ahead and read this article coming from NPR.org. It's a Time's Up leader resigns after criticism over Cuomo ties. Time's Up leader Roberta Kaplan resigned Monday over fallout from her work advising Governor Andrew Cuomo's administration when the first allegations of sexual harassment were made against him last year. Kaplan cited her work counseling the administration last winter and her more recent legal work representing Melissa DeRosa, a top aide to Cuomo who resigned Sunday, nearly a week after a report by the state attorney general concluded that the governor had sexually harassed 11 women. I therefore have reluctantly come to the conclusion that an active law practice is no longer compatible with serving on the board at Time's Up at this time, and I hereby resign. Kaplan wrote in her resignation letter, according to the New York Times, messages were went sent to Kaplan were sent to Kaplan requesting comment on her resignation. Kaplan was the chair of the board of directors for the Times Up and co-founder of the Times Up Legal Defense Fund, which aids women who have experienced sexual harassment and discrimination in the workplace. Meanwhile, the human rights campaign said Monday it's launching an internal investigation over the advocacy organization leader Alfonso David inclusion in the eternal attorney's general report. Over the past several days, HRC employees, supporters, board members and partners have raised questions about the appropriateness of Alfonso David's actions and whether they align with HRC's decade long mission of fighting for equality and justice for all. Both Kaplan and David, a former legal counsel for the governor, were consulted by the Cuomo administration when he was first accused of harassment by a former economic development advisor, Lindsey Boylan. At the time, Boylan was alone in accusing Cuomo of misconduct and the governor and his administration had drafted a letter attacking her credibility and motives with the intent of circulating it publicly. Kaplan and David both agreed to review the letter. A report by New York Attorney General released last week said Kaplan told the administration that with some adjustments it would be fine to send out. David declined to send the letter but agreed to contact other people to see if they would. Other advisors though said that it was a bad idea and the letter was never widely disseminated. Kaplan and Tina Tachin founded the Time's Up Legal Defense Fund in 2018 to provide legal defense for sexual violence victims. She successfully represented marriage equality pioneer Edith Windsor before the U.S. Supreme Court in 2013, winning the case that struck down laws against same-sex marriage across the United States. She later published a book about the case titled Then Comes Marriage. Kaplan also represents the writer E. Jean Carroll, who filed a defamation lawsuit against Donald Trump in 2019 related to her claim that the former president raped her in the department store dressing room in the 1990s. Kaplan is an adjunct professor at Columbia University Law School and was a partner at Paul Weiss, Riftkind, Wharton, and Garrison before starting her own firm in 2017. Reading a part of this reminded me of something else involving 46. Remember Tara Reid and how she came forth and said that uh, 46 had did some things to her, but they tried to question her credibility and saying that she wasn't good enough to, you know, to go forward with this because they wanted to get 46 in there so bad and 45 out so bad that they just left her in the dust. And now you don't even hear about her anymore yet. They kept Stormy Reid with 45 in the news for a very long time. But when it came to Tara Reid, oh, that see, now we, you know, we're not so sure. That kind of reminds me of this situation right here. See, the thing is, they like Andrew Cuomo so much that they're willing to throw his dirt under the rug. 
But like I said, this is them being on cold, but the cold came back and bit her in the ass because now she has to resign because her credibility is about to be shot. And the thing is, she's getting out now before it has the chance to be. See, they just, like I said, they just covering up each other's dirt, but have the nerve to try to criticize and point the finger at other people as if they don't have dirt on their hands. It's amazing. But I'm not surprised by any of this. They're going to protect who they want to protect, and they're going to throw under the bus whoever they want to throw under that bus. That's just that's how that's just basically how the fabric of America truly is. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments.